Hi everybody, it is a great pleasure and honor to have an interview with uh, Mr. Jaron Lichtenstein, which is the Grand Master of Krav Maga. He was awarded a uh, nine dan black belt by the founder of Krav Maga, Imi Lichtenfeld. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Okay. I want to... I want to correct you. Please. I am the only gun master of Krav Maga because today we have, I don't know how many grand masters of Krav Maga. I am the only one that have diploma signed by Imi that I am grand master. And this is the big, big, big difference. Sorry to correct you, yes, but please, thank it's you. must to be done. And I'm very modest also. I want Not to, really. I want to ask you, how have you met Mr. Lichtenfeld? Uh, in Google. In Google? Of it course. wasn't at that time. <laughs> because that happened many, many years ago. <laughs> but it's a good joke. <laughs> I, I will see an article in the papers one of the papers in, in Israel about the ability of the karate people to jump, how they jump very high. Since I was a little, little boy, I want to learn how to jump. So when I was almost, almost 14, I start to look for a place to learn this karate, how to jump. But the article in the paper is one thing and reality is another thing. In that times in Israel, there was no place to learn karate. And I go, I go all the city of Tel Aviv, which is the most biggest, was in my time in, in Israel, to look some club school to do, to learn. Eventually, I, I find a place it was not karate. I don't know, I did not know what it was. I just saw a place. There was four stairs. I, I go up the four stairs. There was, well, for me as 14, the guy was, was old. So uh, I go in, I ask him, he, he asked me, uh, what do you want to learn? And I said, I, I show him the picture. I want to jump like, like this guy. Said, ah, okay. Stay here, I, I will teach you how to jump. It takes me nine years to, to come to the level that it teach me how to jump, this flying kick. And actually in that time I was flying, I was flying literally, and I was doing uh, the flying kick in, in which is part of the Krav Maga. Very, very beautiful, nice, correct, and extremely uh, high jumps. I have photos from this time when I was with full air on, on my head. And, and, and that's how I, I came to Imi. What have you incorporated out of his style? Not the techniques, Imi but, do but not, the way of... Imi do not create style. Imi do not have a style. Imi create a complete martial arts. Jigeru Kano of the Judo create a martial arts, which today it's not exist anymore. Uh, Weshiba with the Aikido, which almost today people don't know the, the, the original way of, of Weshiba. And he may also create a complete, beautiful, intelligent uh, martial arts. People do not know today the full creation of Imi because uh, I'm sorry to say this, but outside the, the Bukan school, uh, nobody anymore teach the original way of Imi, exactly like nobody teach today the original way of Kano. The, the judo today is not a martial arts, it's a sport, it's in the Olympic Games, it's, it's go by the uh, International Committee of Judo, which make part of, of the 
of the Olympic Games. They change the rules every day, they change the exercise every day. Between the judo today and the judo of Kano, there is nothing. And exactly that's what happened with the Kav Maga of Imi. Today there is almost nothing. We, we are the only one that go with the torch of, of the original Kav Maga of Imi. Why? It's very simple. Imi was extremely good athlete. He was two-time champion of Europe heavyweight in box and in, in, in uh, wrestling. And uh, he created martial arts that people today don't, don't want to do. It's too complicated, it's too long, it's too everything. And people don't want to put the efforts today by this. Everybody complained that they don't have enough self-confidence, they don't know how, how to react in, in violence in the street, but to be on the tatami and to learn how not enough people, no, they preferred all the, all the I'm sorry, I'm sorry people for the bullshit that, that they, pay, they pay so much money instead to learn the original way of Imi and become like him or me or us. And your son is uh, following your steps and uh, he is your right hand into teaching? You make me to tell jokes in front of the camera. You will not put it. Yes, um, I, have, I have a son, Rotem, five Dan. I have a daughter, Shachaf, <laughs> Black Belt, soon second Dan. Uh, both of them continue, continue my, my, not my, it's not my, it continue Imi way. They like the grandsons of Imi. My son is today here now with me. And when we are actually uh, printing this interview, my daughter is doing a very, very big training in, in our school in Brazil. So all the three of us are, are together in, in the school and we do the best we can to keep Imi Krav Maga alive. Original do Imi alive. What uh, does uh, Bukan mean at the international level? What are the countries or areas where you we are more present? <coughs> the school, the school have today when I was in Israel, it was very difficult to make the school international because it was difficult, and I will not talk about this because it's not relevant, only that in Israel it's almost, almost impossible. We moved to Brazil, we make the school international. I don't know, we have today 12, 13, 14 countries uh, that we have the school there with thousands of, of students. Uh, we have some, some extremely dedicated student, black belt and above, second and third Dan, that understand the, the importance of keeping the original way of Imi and they keep it and they do the best they can for it like this training that we just finished to do here. And that, that is what we do. And we always look to, to open a new schools in new cities, new countries. How do you see Romania in this uh, context? Well, I, don't, I cannot see Romania because I see only a few cities. I, I, it was a joke. Uh, we start, we start the, the school in Romania 11 or 12 years ago. We have today in Romania something like 20, 25 instructors. We have something like 2,000 students. Uh, I believe we are the biggest school uh, in Romania for Krav Maga. And we do extremely good job. You, you, the Romanian people, you have a very, a very good, a very strong discipline. It's very easy to teach you. You, you, you have the intelligence to understand the, the, the philosophy of the Krav Maga and, and the physical movement of the Krav Maga. It's very nice to work here because 
the, the people want, want to learn the Krav Maga. Again, we have some extremely good instructors here that do marvelous job, beautiful job, keeping the way of Imi. And maybe this the opportunity to, to, to give them some warm thank you. Is it a difference in the way of uh, the girls uh, practicing and the boys? Uh, do you make differences between uh, uh, the hardship of the training or the requirements of uh, your uh, when I When I start to do the Krav Maga with Imi, there was no women on the tatami. And I mean there was no women on the tatami. They weren't allowed or they weren't interested at that time? No, they just did not come. The tatami was machismo, was only for the macho men. And women did not find the way, the way to, to, to do any kind of martial arts. In, in judo, because it's sport, there was a few, but a few, a few. Uh, in the last 15, 10 to 15 years, uh, it's changed. Uh, I must talk about myself in this point. I cannot talk about other people because I cannot. But about, about 10 years ago, I understand that the school is actually missing 50% of the population in the planet. And, and maybe the ones that need it the most, because women I, are more aggressed and, by it. And yeah. I start to work to bring more and more women to the school, until today. Uh, I don't see any kind of difference, none whatsoever, between men and women on the tatami. I teach women, I teach men always together because it has no benefit for the ladies to train by between themselves because if something happens in the street, it's with a man, not with a woman. And, and the women do the same training as men. And that is the point. And I will ask the forgiveness of all the men in the planet in the last five years, four to five years, there is some kind of unseeing change between men and women on the tatami. I have, I have many women instructors today that not only the same like men, some of them much, much better. They work harder? And it's not a question of work harder. Something is changed. Women on the tatami today are better than men. Not in all the cases, but there is. And, and some of these ladies I succeed to take to the school and make them instructor. I want to tell you an example in Brazil. If you know the country, the country is 2.8 times the size of all of Europe, 240 million Brazilians. We, we now live, uh, okay, the last two years was the, 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 the time of the corona and everybody, everything was closing, everybody was closed, the business. Only the women instructors in Brazil keep the academies open and we do their training regularly. All, all the instructors was closed, only the women was open, afraid of nothing. And I respect that very much. And I'm saying all of this because I don't see any difference between men and women. And women. And I want to say I'm in the favor of as much as women want to come and, and practice and, and, and be instructor. I don't want to say that women need this more than men. It's not true because uh, I don't believe the women are so weak as they, as they make themselves. I, I work with thousands of women. They are not weak. Only, only the television, the papers, uh, they want to, to... The women are not weak. 
So it's only, only, only those, only those who choose to be weak. The women are not weak. This is a legend. I know so many women which are not weak at all because they choose not to be like this. I'm sorry for my words, but that's the way it is. The women are not the weak sex. It's not true. They are the strongest one. As, as the saying always said, I don't know if there will be children in the planet if we the men have to give birth. Yes, it's true. It's true. Well, when was the time when you decide you will dedicate your life to Krav Maga? Because as a young man, you could have chosen different not, paths. Not young man, young boy. Uh, maybe three minutes after I meet him. So it was an instant connection with him. If you want to use this word, yes. But it was not instant connection. I just fell in love in the man. I'm not gay. I'm not talking in this point. I'm talking like love him like, like, I don't know, like you love your father or some or brother or something. What was uh, the hardest um, step or point towards building Krav Maga worldwide? Wow. Uh, there was none. I, I, I go to sleep. I wake up in the morning. I'm thinking about Krav Maga. I have nothing else in my mind, in my head. Uh, nothing is too hard for me. Uh, Imi, Imi teach me in the times, Yaron, if you need, put your hands to the front and move the mountain. So I do this. I don't have hard minutes, or seconds, or whatever in my life inside the Kav Maga because, because nobody can stop me or, or whatever. I'm, I'm, Imi give me, Imi give me Give me, give me my life, literally. When I said this, some people found it difficult to understand or to believe. It's not my problem. He may give me my life and I try to give him back something. The giving back is to continue, to continue um, his legacy. I know you met some hardship during your life. Uh, fighting for your country and you had some difficult times. Yeah, well, you see, <laughs> you see, this is, this is the mistake of all the people in the planet. You fight for your country. I didn't fight for my country. I was a soldier in the army of Israel. My officers give me the command to be a soldier. Uh, like, I don't know how many million soldiers like me in the planet, we don't have any kind of chance, because if you s they put you in jail, it's like we live in democracy, which is a lie, it's never a democracy. But in the time when I became a soldier in the Israeli army, I was already four years student of IMI. His education was very, very deep, in, in my heart, body, mind. I, I was more, more him than me, and I live by the perfection. So I go to the army, I teach myself to be the best soldier there is. I was in the Yom Kippur in the 73 uh, war. I get a few bullets in my body, two in my head. Uh, I alive in Israel. We said that God take only the good people, so I'm not a good people probably. <laughs> and I'm still you had alive. a second chance to build. No, this. no, 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 no. I, I don't believe in second chance. I don't have second chance. I was a good soldier. I was not afraid of nothing. I I go directly against the enemy and they shoot me, it's okay, that's what enemies do, shoot each other. And, and, and I succeed to, to stay alive. I was prisoner of war for a few months, 
and I succeed to be alive. I, I don't believe in second chance. I don't get a second chance. I don't have a second chance. If you want a second chance, you have to take it. I, I, I don't, I never in my life received something. I always took it. That's what Imi teach me, that's what I teach. All of my students, some of them understand it, some of them not understand it, some of them maybe in the future will understand it. Uh, the people that understand it succeed to go very far, very far. How much is Kav Maga a mental uh, practice? It's psychological. How much the psychology matter in the No, no, results? there is no psychology. psychology. I, I was... Um, learning all of the psychology, the modern psychology, the classic psychology, the psychoanalysis. I, I cannot say that I don't believe in this. I am only saying it's no, not really helping somebody. Uh, but some of the most biggest and important psychiatrists in the planet that, that used to do research about psychoanalysis said, themselves, they said, that the martial arts have some kind of philosophy that pure the mind and all the problems of the mind, like psychology problem, mental problems. So um, that's, that's what uh, the martial arts is doing. That was the Krav Maga of Imi doing, because he was extremely intelligent, so he put this philosophy. And people that will go by this, by this, way, no, people that go by this way, I already can see this, um, I cannot say they don't have mental problem because I believe there is no such a thing, but they can control it and, and it's less than, than to others. We teach the people not to be afraid. Now, not to be afraid is like stupid things like to be afraid of darkness, or spiders, or mouse, or, or stupid thing like, like, like this. So we take this out and you have a new person, literally. You said you, you were in uh, some point in your life when you were literally flying, doing your kicks with yes. your legs. Yes, How, uh, The name of the kick is flying kick. Flying That's kick. the name of the kick. How much training uh, have you done during that uh, time? How was your routine of training? 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day. Every day? Every day, every day. But nobody can do this anymore today. Do, do you have any student that trains as hard as you did in your time? No. No. Do you continue to teach, as I understand? Even now, you are not just the, the Look, supervisor I am, of I the I am 86 school. years old. 86 years old, but not today. In 50 years from now, I will be 86. So in the next 30 years, I'm still teaching. And on the tatami. What do you want? Um... The mathematics was clear enough, yes? Yes, yes. The mathematics was not clear enough, but I know you joke a lot, so uh, I take it also as a joke. What do you want? Um... One, one, somebody sent to my wife a letter. Uh, I'm sorry about the death of your husband. I knew him for many years. He was a good. So the next day, my daughter did the joke that I'm 86 years old. And this is true, and this is true. People don't really like me, which is okay with me. I don't like them. Uh, but you have a particular way of uh, teaching and interacting. Maybe, yes. maybe you scare people a little bit, or me scare people. <laughs> me scare people. A, such a nice, beautiful. Me scare people. People, you are afraid of me. Why? I do nothing. I only punch people. <laughs> because you are tough sometimes. In the I, I am not tough. No, I'm. Oh, I'm soft. Oh, I'm soft. I'm soft. I'm very soft. It's not true. I. I, I saw I you. I can sue you for this. 
<laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I saw you with the kids, and you're a different person with the yes. kids. Yes. My son, my son and daughter said that by myself, I mean, I'm six years old kid, which is, which is true. I believe all the normal people inside them, they are six, seven, eight years old. And if they are not, they have many mental problems. And yes, I am in their age. I like very much this, this age. I, I work with very, very small kids, six years, many, many years uh, in, in Israel also, before I moved to Brazil, 21 years ago. And I, I have children that start with me by six and go with me until 30. I, I believe I contribute to their life. I change their life, uh, all of them, all of them. Uh, have big companies, big money, big everything. So I teach people, I mean the children, I teach them really to be leaders of the future. And I like it so much because if I work with you with all the respect, it's almost impossible to change you. And, and put the philosophy of the Kav Maga inside you because you're already fixed. The children, you can change, you can educate them, because school, with all due respect, is teacher. Teacher is people that cannot even clean the street for the city, so they become teachers. Yeah, I remember my teachers. I look when I am today and, and where they are today, and, and I am a good teacher. I, I don't know how many people you know that really love their teacher, but I believe that most of my people love me. All those, I'm tough, yes. I punch them sometimes, yes. We, we are on the tatami. We don't do, we don't do a check. We do Krav Maga, we do violence, because the truth is we do violence. We learn to punch and to kick and defense against knife and how to kill with a knife and defense against guns and how to use the guns. And the street is a violent place if, if in, in some points. So we, we, I teach them against this violence. So if I will be soft, like, they will never be good in the street. So I am tough sometimes, yes but I'm very honest and I love them all and I know that they know. On the internet, uh, there is the perception that Krav Maga is the most um, proficient uh, way of uh, self-defense on the street or in real life situation. Uh, how do you feel and why is that? I must ask you a question now. When you said Krav Maga in the internet, you talking about exactly what Krav Maga? The Krav Maga of Imi, Bukhan School? Or you talking about all the charlatans that take the money of the people and give them nothing in return? You, have, you must have a very specific, I'm sorry if I sound a little aggressive, I am because I don't like all the people that use the name Krav Maga, use the name Imi, put the flag of Israel like they was born there, and they teach Krav Maga. They don't even know what is Krav Maga, they just use the name, because the stupid citizens do not go in the internet and do research, and what is this, and what is this, and what is this. They saw in the, the, the close to the house Krav Maga, they go and pay. This is stupidity. Even if you want Krav Maga and you don't have Krav Maga in your neighbor, which the real, I mean, I mean, just don't go. Just don't go. You make some mistake in your life. You make some crime, car accident, whatever. You need a lawyer. You go to the most stupid one or the best one that you have money to take. The best. You need a doctor for your son or daughter. You take the best you have money to pay or the most stupid. Exactly. 
people take the most stupid instructor of Krav Maga to teach them something that he himself don't know. And the internet is full of people that use the title Krav Maga and teach what exactly. But letting this aside, is, yes, is, Krav, is Maga, Krav Maga the official the official name that Imi put is Krav Maga Israeli martial arts for self defense. Which I know is also used in the no. Israel uh, no. military or no. no no the Israeli army is one of the most advanced armies in the planet. Advanced army do not use Krav Maga. Advanced army lift helicopter 24 kilometer distance from you. You don't even know that there is a helicopter over there and you shoot a missile, small one, that kills you even before you know that you're dead. You don't, you actually don't know that you die. The times that the two soldiers fight between them, gone. Krav Maga in the Israeli army today, it's a joke. The base in Israel today, when they teach Krav Maga, is actually for the special soldiers from special units. And the, the officer, the general, the colonel of, of the unit want to give some premium to the soldier, so he sent them to one week to this base because there is also many many ladies soldiers so they can have fun with the ladies. Krav Maga, pfft. what for? You have the rifle that go two kilometers. You don't know, you don't see, you don't hear, you just die. So the, the, this legend of, 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 it's not true. It was in my time, 50 years ago. Yes, it's done. It's not exist anymore, it's lie. People lie to the public that this is from the Israeli this or the Israeli this. It's a lie. It's not true. But on the street, it's very useful for the normal people. Only, only if you encounter the violence of the street. Yes. If not, it will help you in, in another way in life. Yes. Because uh, I know the most of the CEOs of the Fortune 500 uh, companies in the United States have some kind of military or martial arts background. So no, they don't. I, I never hear, hear about this. Maybe you heard about this. I personally don't believe in this. I always want to go out of Israel to make the school international. From Israel, you cannot do international. It's not working. So I have a student in New Zealand. He is a lawyer, immigration lawyer. He fix for all the family, passport, or, or, or also have a house to buy the house. And we were ready, the suitcase, all the house in his package to, together. And, and we have ticket. In three days, we go to New Zealand, three days. We sell the house, everything. The wife, the wife, three days before, the wife. Yaron, I'm not coming with you to New Zealand. I cannot show that I'm so happy. Pew! I cannot. So, see, hey, uh, hey, yes, my dear, but, but why? And inside, I'm happy. I'm single again. Well, New Zealand is very far away. And I, far away from, from, far away from, I don't know, it's far away. You know, women, they said far away, they don't need to explain. So me. Okay, we go to Brazil. Ah, yes, Brazil, it's very close, around the corner. <laughs> go to Brazil. My father is Brazilian, my grandfather and so grandmother you have there. is Brazilian. So I not only have roots, I have the right to become Brazilian. It took me exactly three seconds. I go in front of the judge, federal judge. Are you Yaron Tati Tati Tatam? Yes. You want to be Brazilian? Yes. You are Brazilian. Because this, this is the, the law in Brazil. If your father, mother is Brazilian, automatically you're Brazilian also. 
So we go to Brazil. I believe Brazil is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful country. Yes, we have problem, but show me a country, show me one country that don't have problems. Okay, in Brazil we have a little more, but, but, but it's okay. I, I, I enjoy, enjoy very much my life there, really. During these years, a lot of people moved on online. Did you try yes. to do anything like this or you are against? Uh, I know that some of my instructors try to do classes, uh, lessons online. It did not work. I don't believe you can teach Krav Maga online. I think personally, personally, that it's not working. What do you look for in an instructor in order to teach Bukan Krav Maga? Each instructor is a world for himself. You, you can be today instructor, very, very, very bad instructor, but in, in one year from now, because of the experience and, and your will to become better, you change. And in one year, you, you will be much, much better than today. And in five years from now, you will be really, really extremely good instructor. I saw this many, many times. In the beginning, they are very bad. They don't have the experience. They don't have the, the confidence and... and But you look rather for the occurrence, uh, the accuracy of the techniques or the everything. personality? Or everything. I don't see parts. I see everything. It's instructor is everything. I cannot divide the instructor to a few parts. It must be everything. Is the black belt a very uh, difficult level to achieve in Kaf Maga? Yes. Maybe the most difficult in the martial arts in the planet today. We be in the hotel yesterday at night, evening. We see a boy, I don't know, maybe seven, eight years already black belt. What? In karate. Really? Seriously? It's a joke. Yeah, we have, we have uh, in the Kamaga, you must have at least, at least at the minimum, 16. Normally it's 17, 18, and it took around 10 years to go to the black belt. It took me 10 years. It's not that I'm doing this for other, but that's the way it is. To, to prepare you, I mean physically and mentally, to become a black belt, it took ten, more or less eight to 10 years. And in terms of efficacy or in terms of uh, um, comparing Kav Maga against other martial arts or other techniques, uh, what would you perceive are the advantages or the upper hand of Kav Maga? The Kav Maga is the best martial arts for self-defense in the planet today. If you examine all the martial arts, which some of them are not even martial arts, like they said uh, M MMA, Yes. Mixed martial arts. I want somebody to show me what mixed of what martial arts there is the MMA. There is no martial arts inside. Only technique, it's, it's not a word. Movement. So, um, I saw, I saw, I saw the American, the Pan-American games. I saw the Taekwondo there. I don't see even one time, one time that somebody make any defense. They only shoot and kick each other. Only, only this. Nobody knows to do not even one defense. So as martial arts for self-defense, we are the best in the planet because we do not fight. If I will fight with you, there is only 50% chance that I will win. Or the same to you because fight is lottery. I don't know you, you don't know me. You can see Muhammad Ali was the biggest, more or less, we can say, the biggest boxer in, in the world, in the planet. And yet he lose for Joe Pfizer. 
How can it be? And then Joe Pfizer lose again to Muhammad Ali. How can it be? Because it's gambling. It's gambling. The two of them champion, really champions. You win, I lose. I win, you lose. This is fight. We do not fight. So a lucky, a lucky self, strike. We do self-defense. When I do self-defense, I have 98% that I will win. That's the difference between fighting and do self-defense. That's it. Now, the problem is that we have Hollywood that, that creates sceneries by choreographer, that, that invent movement that do not exist. It's only to, to make the people pay for the ticket. And it is but the hope. stupid people go out of the cinema and believe that what they see in Hollywood is real life. It's not. Sorry. So the... Uh, I became somewhat mm, a, a, a aggressive sometimes. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Uh, they uh, put the ropes uh, um, on the actors and make them like, make them fly. fly. Yes, yes. I believe. Yes. Okay. Whatever. It's not a rope, by the way. It's rubber. Uh, we are uh, towards the end of our interview. And oh, I'm so happy. Uh, I I want to um, uh, invite you to have a very short message for the Romanian people. Uh, why to craft to to come to study craft manga? Um, I know, I know that if I do uh, the compare between Romania and Brazil or Mexico, for example, uh, maybe you, the Romanian people, will not understand this. But in Brazil and Mexico, people are really afraid from the violence of the street. I know that in Romania it's different. You don't have as much violence in the street. Uh, like some places in Mexico or Brazil or all South America. Israel, by the way, is extreme violent in the street. Uh, America is the most violent country in the planet. Small children kill people every day there. Uh, so I know this is not working well for you, but I want you to know that in the other side of the Krav Maga, after we learn uh, how to punch and kick and defend ourselves against whatever, whatever can happen in the street, we have the philosophy. And the philosophy of the Krav Maga, Imi, Imi succeed combined between the very, very old and smart Jewish philosophy with the very, very old an extremely smart Japanese philosophy and create something that go together. And I know that you, the Romanian people, uh, worship this, this kind of wisdom. So uh, if you come to do Krav Maga, you can enjoy the two worlds together, the physical and, and, the, and the mentally. So you can come, take some lessons, and, and then decide. And one more thing, if you already decide to do Krav Maga, do Krav Maga by Bukan School, which we are the only one, unfortunately, in Romania and the rest of the planet that continue the original way of IMI. Love you all, Romania. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, vă mulțumesc uh, frumos, stimați respectatori, uh, pentru că ne-ați urmărit. Uh, am avut onoarea și plăcerea să fim alături de uh, Iaron Liechtenstein, cel care continuă uh, stilul uh, tradițional uh, de Krav Maga. Vă mulțumesc foarte mult pentru atenție și vă invit să rămâneți alături de programele Canal 33.